NGZ3 US. I think. No, dollar sign, right. I haven't heard this song in so long. This is not like a super long time ago. This is not like childhood. I was 15. You know, like the nation channels, like Trap Nation, Rap Nation, Bass Nation, Chill Nation, all those like the channels that are part of that whole conglomerate run by like Andre or Benz or whatever. Yeah, look, look, founder, the nations, that's his company. And he just goes around just like chilling, like doing like street photography basically, just like traveling the world. You know how when girls see other like better looking girls on Instagram and they get jealous and it like eats away at them? I see this dude's Instagram and I'm like, man, this dude's living the kind of life I want, bro. I want to be able to like live the life where I can post this stuff on Instagram. See like yeah, Trap Nation and all this stuff. Still young-ish, but right when all those channels, especially Trap Nation, Rap Nation, those two, the big ones, right after they started to like plateau in subscribers, like it was just after rapid growth and it was just kind of chilling, like growing like a few thousand subscribers every month. This was, this was one of the songs in that whole arsenal. The songs post Kevin Flum, You Mad Bro, or whatever. This is such a weird... Man, I, I don't think to this day I've ever heard a song that's quite like this. He's not the best lyricist. He has a good voice, but not like a great voice. His flow is kind of repetitive, but like the way that the song synergizes with his voice, electric guitar plucking, and then the low, the bass of this sounds like someone's voice. It sounds like a, oh, like a chant. Like, listen, listen. Right? I like the chill, like, yeah. It's slow, it's calm, dramatic, confident. I am a menace, living my life by the day. Kill everything got, in my way, it's got straight to the top, living like a that's a lot more badass is when you take a slow song and you, then you give it bounce because that's hard that's tricky to do i mean it's easy but like it's it's you have to use every tool like you have the beat have bounce to it and then your vocals be faltering the e -R -N -G. nobody got it like me nobody sounded like he church speed mug zeus in this bitch nigga preach like with the bass line it just it's such an intoxicating melody and instrument that he uses. It's, it still sounds like another vocal, but it matches the same notes as the 808s. Like this like choir sounding, all of these instruments have like a hint of like human vocal in them. I think that's partially the secret ingredient in why a lot of these like random hidden gem songs are like so such hidden gems. See, look, he made a music video for it. I mean, at the time, the song was already, yeah, right here. This is like the cover art. I mean, it had like the Rap Nation thing, but it was already a huge song, relatively speaking, like for YouTube back in the day, you know? But then he posted the music video and it barely did any numbers. I'm surprised they didn't manage to like, of course, it's a trap remix of it. We're making, wait, one year ago? I mean, it, it's a YouTube community, right? So people will still listen and like consumers will also participate in creating, but that's literally it. Those are the three songs. Oh, another song. Okay, okay. Four songs so far. Dude, where is everything? 332 monthly listeners. Wow, that's nothing. Look, nothing on his song. I, this might not be him. We got some handles here. Are these his songs? Wait, this is a lot. Hold up. Oh, he's in Atlanta. But he hasn't posted since 2019. Content isn't available right now. Page isn't available. That's what I mean, bro. People suck at like just putting their music on their channel. I mean, maybe there might have been some copyright hell, but... Yeah, classic, classic old YouTube. Okay, another interesting yeah. melody. Yeah. These are like video gamey sounds. Hey. Hey. Woke up too godly. It's a little cringe. It's a little like schoolboy Q, but that's the risk, right? That's the risk you take when you try to make slow songs. Yeah, this, dude, I thought this was like the same person, but he like formed a new artist name, like went under an alter ego or something like that, because they sound so similar. And this song was actually crazy when it came. This is another one of those still on Rap Nation nine years ago. This is another one of that lineup, right? But yeah, look, this is a totally different. Wait, dude, again, eight years ago, that was the last one. They robbing, they robbing, they shopping, break bread with my niggas, you know how we rocking. Hitting these licks and counting this cake. I don't give a fuck, I'm burying my face. Hoping I let us see me a He pulls off the voice. He got that chopper and ready to spray. Boy, like this is such a crazy bar here, bro. Money got like that nigga Biggie. It's get rich or die trying like that nigga 50. And I'm about to go dumb like, like Tim Aaron. We ain't talking, talking money. Niggas be bitches and acting like hoes. Be screaming for 12 when they call them the most. Niggas are know they come shot for the work. Lay you on the floor and take all of your cash. Everyone did good. The, the way, but the way this voice, this dude's voice synergizes. Oh, dude, this is about to sound gay as fuck. But the way this dude, like, 
the depth of his voice synergizes with the bass. It reminds me a lot of like, see, but I don't know if King Zeus is able to do it in these other songs. That first one might have just been lightning in a bottle, or it might be like, other people don't really care about that song all that much. It might just be like, because everyone has those like, ooh, these notes particularly tickle the brain in the right way, basically. They got the work, Vamanos. Yeah, no, nah, all these, everything else sucks unless you have like a, a very particular type of melody. In my way, straight to the top. See, this was the, this was the music video, but. Dude, what the hell is this? I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance. I mean, I kind of get what they were doing with this, but... Bro, that was a classic 2000s... You remember when thumbnails used to be like this? Mid-looking white girls? And it was just like them just like looking at the camera or just like... All they had needed was a clean face. That's literally it. They could have just been sitting there. This was like so many YouTube thumbnails back then. Everyone was so innocent. You didn't need much. I mean, they have the like looks on their face of like... I'll ruin your life type shit, but like, that's honestly like every girl. I told myself I was just gonna lock, lock in, fucking bury myself in the booth. Then do it, bro. What you waiting on? Yeah. This. No, th this, this, this melody sucks. Yeah. Spend the night at the Ritz. Hey. Whoa. I'm it from six. Dude, I've definitely heard this instrumental before. What the hell is this thumbnail? Why is this in like 4P? Was this posted on Rap Nation? And they just like took the they just took the description from it? This is in such bad quality too. Who mixed this? Remember the night. Remember the night. Remember the night. It's about to get ugly like Grimalins. Hey. This is really weird. I feel like he made his vocals for like a different song and then they change up the beat or something like that. Cause I don't know. I mean, it held my attention. Okay. So he's here, he's in this song and it has good views and there's comments and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, why is this not on your YouTube channel? Dude, okay, wait, he has a whole EP. Never mind, never mind. I'm not about to go through all this. This looks like it's all his songs though. Seven years, six years. Wait, is he consistent? Let's check it out. Three years, his most recent song from three years ago. Jungle Jumanji. Biggie, my D -D, my D -D move. Remember the days I had trace for the loop. I mean, he's got potential. I can see he's got potential. Okay, so is this his new Instagram? Okay, okay. Hacked, of course. He looks like Ice-T in this picture. 168, dude, where has he been? The past three years, dog. Wait, he posted 18 hours ago. Oh, he was watching the fight. Wait, what the hell is going on? I don't understand why people could stay inactive for so long after like having such a big hit. Does the dopamine rush, like does the high not addict you? Okay, yeah, so he's got hella songs on his Apple here. It just, bro, get rid of, change your rapper name, dude. Bro, I used to post random people's songs on Audio Mac and I, I legit had like almost a hundred million total like plays on my thing. And then I ended up deleting my account. I didn't realize I could have made money from it. I, should, I could do that again, actually. I don't know what the Audio Mac algorithm looks like, but I can get back on it. Reups? What a brilliant name for reposting something on a, on a music social media platform. I guess he's chilling, got his own life and all that. That's crazy. I wonder if anyone else like remembered that song. It was the one, oh yeah, and I was looking up Sara Safari, cause um, Wait, there's two Fs? I thought it was just one. Cause like, bro, like, dude, she can fix me. I, we can fix each other, bro. <laughs> I'm playing, my dog's about to go meet Sara Safari's about to shoot for her. Shoot her, sh with, you know, shoot her, shoot. Hooby? Never heard of this one before. What the hell is this? Jim Weed? Dude, I could fix her. I could fix her. I could. Never mind. I don't know if I can. That's some, that's some intent. You gotta love a girl with body dysmorphia, huh? Yeah, dude, she literally has me like looking through all that stuff, bro. I can't, I can't fix her. That's too much. 